the huge smile is what describes David. David wants to lead the league in hugs every single year. Hug, hug, I hug everybody. I hug my buddies. But at the same time, if I was on the other side, I did not want to see Big Papi come up to the plate with the game on the line. Microphone check, mic microphone check up. Well, here is David Ortiz. Ortiz, a buddy of Pedro's from Santa Domingo. I was having a pretty good game, and uh, you know, I faced David, so I, I thought I was going to get him. Just like every tall guy, you think, well, they they probably have a hole in. Deep to right field, Ortiz hits one into the upper deck. And I was like, whoa, David was so unique with the fastballs in, and. He surprised me just like he surprised many more pitchers around the league. The Red Sox owe me some money as, as a scout because they, I happened to be right there at the, the exact moment when he got the phone call. It was Minnesota releasing David. And I told him, hey, great, they, they let you go? I go, great. And he goes, how can that be great? And I'm like, yeah, that's right, because I can get you a job in Boston, I think. So I, I call Boston and make it happen, because I didn't want anybody else signing him with the Red Sox, and the rest is history. David is the main reason why we won the World Series in Boston. The curse of the big puppies. Woo! The Boston Red Sox are world champions. And went on to win three times because of David. And in 2007, the World Championship of Major League Baseball once again belongs to Red Sox Nation. The 2013 Red Sox are the world champions. As a teammate, he was that guy. David had an aura. I've never seen anything like it. David really understood the platform that he was standing on. This jersey that we wear today, it doesn't say Red Sox, it say Boston. David understood the responsibility he had with Boston. He understood who he was at that moment when David decided to say, this is our city. And nobody gonna dictate our freedom. Stay strong, thank you. David showed at that moment that it, not only he was angry, but he was fearless. On any category that there is for legends in Boston, Yas, Jim Rice, Way Bugs, Ted Williams, David deserves to brand right among them. Hello, David. The baseball writers have elected you to the National Baseball Hall. Yes! Yeah! One thing I can tell you, I'm going to be extremely proud to see him going to the Hall of Fame, not only as a player, but as a human being, as a fellow Dominican, as a teammate. He is one unique person and one unique player, and he deserves it. <laughs> 